Hey guys, PC Mecca here. Corsair is highly revered as one of the best PC gaming companies and has been in the game, pun intended, since 1994. Originally, they started out making money modules, but have since grown into one of the biggest names in the PC gaming industry. In this video, we're going to take a look at Corsair's history and experience with pre-built gaming PCs specifically, and whether you should trust them with your money. Let's get straight into it. When it comes to pure gaming know-how, you'll be hard-pressed to find a more versed brand. Corsair makes everything from high-end PC hardware to top-of-the-line gaming peripherals, and they cover almost the entire PC gaming spectrum of products. Their first pre-built computer launched in March of 2017, which makes them a latecomer to the pre-built niche. But they quickly became a go-to for PC gaming enthusiasts, thanks to their pre-established trust in the DIY PC community. As we already touched on, Corsair wasn't always the powerhouse gaming company it is today. In fact, they originally began as a memory module manufacturer. Founded in Fremont, California in 1994, Corsair made level 2 memory cache modules they called Cache on a Stick, or Coast, modules, before Intel began integrating L2 caches into their own Pentium Pro processors near the end of 1995. Now, after only a year of being in business, Corsair needed to change tactics, because soon, their product would be a thing of the past. What did they do? They switched production over to DRAM modules. Not a very exciting transition. And still, the modules they were manufacturing weren't for gaming computers, but for servers instead. It wasn't until 2002 that Corsair began building high-end memory modules meant to appease the overclocking communities. This paved the way for the 40% dominance they possess in the premium PC components market today. Since then, Corsair has only grown as a major player in the PC gaming scene. Along the way, Corsair has either bought or partnered with smaller companies, such as Coolit Systems, which Corsair partnered with to produce their now famous line of AIO liquid cooling units. Additionally, Corsair bought Elgato, Scuff Gaming, and Origin PC. These mergers not only helped Corsair grow their product lines, but also increased the visibility of the smaller companies. Corsair wasn't interested in starting from scratch all over again. Instead, they saw the opportunity to bring these talented niche companies on board the Corsair ship, and did so to everyone's benefit. Today, Corsair is a brand known for its wide range of products, reliability, and performance. Just as an example, people have Corsair-themed rigs. They make RGB or non-RGB RAM in all kinds of flavors, and it doesn't end there. You'll find the Corsair logo on fans, coolers, keyboards, mice, headsets, mics, monitors, and more. For most of Corsair's time in the business, they've primarily stuck to components and peripherals. But in 2017, that changed. That was the year they released their first ever full-assembled PC, the Corsair One. They now offer the Corsair One in multiple configurations depending on your budget or needs, as well as their newer Vengeance line. The Corsair One is smaller, with a proprietary ITX form factor, as well as a proprietary chassis. Also, upgrading the Corsair 1 is limited to only the RAM and SSD due to low-profile components and assembly. On the other hand, the Vengeance line of gaming PCs are built using a micro ATX design and are much more upgradable. This is in part due to the larger M ATX motherboard and chassis allowing more room for standard components. And in our opinion, the Vengeance PCs are the way to go. Corsair's Best Gaming PC the Corsair Vengeance i7300. Now, here's a beast worth an entire review on its own, but for now, we'll be keeping it short. The Vengeance i7300 is a monster. At its core resides one of the most powerful gaming CPUs known to man, the i9-12900K. The K means this CPU is overclockable. While it's certainly fast already, many of you will want to push it to its limits. Corsair attached their Hydro Series H60 AIO liquid cooler to this beast, so why not? Push it! For graphical prowess, the Vengeance i7300 utilizes an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 GPU, which again is one of the most powerful gaming components you can possess. To continue flexing on other pre-built gaming PCs, Vengeance i7300 has a 2TB NVMe and Corsair's own ultra-fast 4800MHz RAM, this comes in the DDR5 variety. DDR5 has twice the bandwidth of its predecessor, DDR4, and therefore is much faster. All in all, 
If you want the best from the best, look no further than the Corsair Vengeance i7300. You get an extremely well-performing, well-cooled, and most importantly, quality gaming PC that's going to last you for a very long time. And isn't that what every gamer wants? As with all the PCs mentioned in this video, you'll also find a link for this one in the description box below. Corsair is a long-standing top producer of high-end gaming components and peripherals. They've been making components for almost 30 years, and there's no sign of them slowing down. It only made sense for them to begin building their own systems and selling them. With such a reputation, Corsair is the number one brand when buying a pre-built gaming PC. They provide almost every component, so no worrying about mismatched brands, weird aesthetics, or RGB sync issues. Furthermore, they have excellent customer service, so any issues you may have can be directed to their service team. As long as you're still under warranty, they will do their utmost to honor it. This brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't, feel free to hit the dislike button as well. Most importantly, if you have any additional questions or need help choosing your next gaming PC, drop a comment below and we'll be more than happy to help you out. See you soon.